Dear friends, host families, and beloved professors, we are here to present you our story of Cyprus. As I am standing here, between friends and family, I record all the good moments we had together, and I will be talking on behalf of every participant when I say that this was the experience of a lifetime. Over these last three weeks, I have learned lots of things, gained lots of experiences, and made many good friends. I've learned about not stereotyping people because of their color, religion, and nationality. I've been taught how to solve a conflict and do not discriminate. We met some new cultures and different religions and so many places. But the one thing I won't ever forget is the people I met here, my new friends. And I owe all this to the people that gave me this great opportunity to meet with my new friends, to expand, to expand my horizons and open my eyes to the rest of the world. Thus, I would like to thank all of you for being here for us and make us feel so special. Special thanks to the Cyprus Fulbright Commission and the International Training Office. Thank you for being so understanding. And last but not least, I would like to say a big, a large thanks to the people that were by our side every and each mo moment we needed them. They became our second families and a person we have, we can confide in. Thank you, Christophoros, Kiriaki, and Kun and Serta. Thank you very much. We are delighted to be with you today and I would like to welcome you all to the graduation ceremony of the Cyprus Pi Communal Summer Youth Program 2006. I believe that the last three weeks which we spent in the United States has been a memorable and rewarding experience for all of us. The 40 youngsters from all communities of Cyprus whose eyes are shining now and have already received their certificates have successfully survived an intensive schedule filled with lectures, seminars, workshops, trips, and other social activities. Moreover, they also survived the heat and humidity of Illinois. Starting from the first days of the program, the students have displayed a good example of team spirit, cooperated with each other, and engaged themselves in a new learning process. Perhaps most importantly, they learn from each other and build new friendships while familiarizing themselves with the reasons, dynamics, and possible solutions to the conflict in Cyprus. In the meantime, they also had the opportunity to expose themselves to the cultural diversity in the United States and try to build bonds of coexistence, tolerance, mutual respect, while attempting to eliminate stereotypes, prejudices, and so on. It seems that we are at the end of something today. However, I always believe that Every end is a new beginning, and at the foundation, which we started here, will pave the way for future cooperation and common ground. By taking this opportunity, I would like to thank all those who have, who have contributed to this project. Most importantly, our dear organizers at International Training Office of NIU, Cyprus Fulbright Commission, which provides the training for this event, and fellow other trainers, all lecturers and moderators and host families. <laughs> Last but not least, I sincerely thank our students and their families. Without their courage and participation, this event would not have been realized. We may be coming from a divided country, but believe me, our hearts are united. United in love, united in peace, and united in a common future for Cyprus. Thank you very much. Um, I read uh, the students that were asked to write, to post their journals, their thoughts and reflections um, on the uh, web line, I mean, on the Yahoo group. And one of them wrote, um, here at NIU, 
I have learned, we have learned to live as one family. And we have forgotten our differences. We have put aside our differences. And I think that echoes the sentiments of most of the students that uh, uh, the, uh, the reflections that they have posted. And we, know, I mean, we look forward to really seeing you go home one, as yes, a one united family, one community, not by communal, but one community, one Cyprus. Now, let me, at this point, I would like also to uh, uh, recognize the presence of the host families. Uh, who have, uh, you've met them at a picnic and now they're here again, and we would like to thank them for their affection for our uh, uh, Cypriot students and leaders. So may I call Nami, would you please stand? Really, really like names. 
Once upon a time, Cypriots all over the island lived in harmony, peace and equity. Turkish Cypriots, Greek Cypriots, there was no difference. Every Sunday night, Cypriots used to gather in taverns. They used to play tabli, tabla in Turkish, known as backgammon in English. They used to play drinking games with zivania. The women used to knit and exchange words. And the chef used to cook souvla for all. Brother with brother, sister with sister. people in Cyprus used to live. Hard work during the day and fun at night. Drinking, laughing, singing and dancing. What else did they need? 